The beginning of the 21st century will be remembered, not for military conflicts or political events, but for a whole new age of globalization, a flattening of the world. The explosion of advanced technologies now means that suddenly knowledge pools and resources have connected all over the planet, leveling the playing field as never before. Along with customary classes on subjects such as finance, accounting, and marketing, today's MBA students are enrolling on courses for environmental policy and stewardship. Indeed, more than half of business schools require a course in environmental sustainability or corporate social responsibility, according to a survey of 91 U.S. business schools, published in October 2005.
The brain is divided into two hemispheres, called the left and right hemispheres. Each hemisphere provided a different set of functions, behaviors, and controls. The right hemisphere is often called the creative side of the brain, while the left hemisphere is the logical or analytic side of brain. How quickly is the world's population growing? In the United States and other developed countries, the current growth rate is very low. In most developing countries, the human population is growing at a rate of 3% per second. Because of this bustling growth rate, the human population is well on its way to reaching 9 billion within lifetime. Lincoln's apparently radical change of mind about his war power to emancipate slaves was caused by the escalating scope of war, which convinced him that any measure to weaken the Confederacy and strengthen the Union war effort was justifiable as a military necessity.
Tesla actually worked for Edison early in his career. Edison offered to pay him the modern equivalent of a million dollars to fix the problems he was having with his DC generators and motors. Tesla fixed Edison's machines and when he asked for the money he was promised, Edison laughed him off and had this to say, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. Imagine living all your life as the only family on your street. Then, one morning, you open the front door and discover houses all around you. You see neighbors tending their gardens and children walking to school. Where did all the people come from? What if the answer turned out to be that they had always been there, you just hadn't seen them? Ever since I remembered, further woke up at 5.30 every morning, made us all breakfast and read newspaper. After that, he would go to work. He worked as a writer. It was a long time before I realized he did this for a living.
internal combustion engine, enabling the driver to decide which source of power is appropriate for the travel requirements of given journey. Major U.S. auto manufacturers are now developing feasible hybrid electric vehicles, and some are exploring fuel cell technology for their electric cars. Have you ever picture a world without light? Just think how much we rely on man-made light sources in our lives, without engineers, we wouldn't be able to live the way we do. No street lights, no TV, no computer displays, no house light, engineers design and build all these things. First-year university students have designed and built a groundbreaking electric car that recharges itself. Fifty students from the University of Sydney's Faculty of Engineering spent five months cobbling together bits of plywood, foam and fiberglass to build the Mango concept car. They developed the specifications and hand-built the car. It's a pretty radical design, a four-wheel drive with a motor in each wheel.